Hi folks, this is Sumit and welcome to Academy's project session. In our last session, we understood the complete data enrichment steps. Today, it is the last session and we will be performing the analysis on our enriched data and we will come up with the results, okay? Okay, data analysis. So this is uh, the uh, step which we are going to understand today, okay? Now we have five problem statements and for every problem statement, we need to write either Hive query or Quick query or MapReduce job and get the analysis. So in this project, we will be using the Hive query. It depends on you. If you are comfortable with Hive, you can proceed with Hive. If not, you can choose any of the processing uh, you know, tool of your choice. So let's begin. We need to open the data analysis.sh. By the way, this the data enrichment.sh, this was the last step which we performed in, in our last class. Today, we will be moving ahead with data analysis.sh. Let's see what is the file. Okay, again, batch ID and log file, you know what it is. Running Hive script for data analysis. So we need to see this Hive script. That is data analysis.hql. You see, guys, there are certain table creation and some kind of uh, you know processing steps there in this particular file. So your problem statement, I mean, you have five problem statements. So there are five different tables that have been created to analyze the problem. Okay. First one is top 10 stations. Then next is user behavior. And then moving ahead, it is connected artist. Similarly, we have top 10 royalty songs and then last top 10 unsubscribed users. So you need to determine top 10 station IDs where maximum number of songs were played, which were liked by unique users. So for this particular problem statement, this is the solution, the highlighted one. Okay. Again, for next problem statement that is determined total duration of songs played by each type of user where type of user can be subscribed or unsubscribed. An unsubscribed user is the one whose record is not present in subscribed user lookup table or has subscription end date earlier than the timestamp. So for this particular statement, problem statement, this is the solution. Okay, this one. This is the solution. So let's begin with the first problem statement. Now, uh, okay, before we go ahead, there can be two ways, okay? Either you can execute complete data analysis.sh as a script file, okay? In which, uh, you know, you have your hype script embedded and then furthermore, there are a few things. So you can run as a complete script file or you can run one by one in the hive shell so i'll be going with the later option okay so that i can check the result and can explain you a few things as well okay if you are going with the complete script file that is if you're running the complete script command make sure that your mysql is running why because there is something called data export.sh you see this so in this, I mean, it is nothing but your process data, whatever analysis you have done, you will be pulling that analyzed record into MySQL and you'll be passing it to the downstream team, you know, for visualization or creating or generating the report. So this is the scoop export job. Okay. So for this, your MySQL should be up and running. Okay. Inside this, there is a create schema.sql. That is the creation of your table in MySQL. Okay, so I hope uh, you guys are familiar with the scoop export and import job. It won't be difficult for you. So I'm not going with the, uh, you know, the first option that is I'm not running the complete script. Instead, I'll be running one of the one at a time. Okay, so let's proceed. So let me copy this in a new file. Okay. Control C and Control B. So let's see the question once again. So determine top 10 station IDs. So very clear, we need to find out the station IDs from our enriched data where maximum number of songs were played. So you will have to count, you will have to perform some count operation on number of songs that were played 
by unique users okay so let's see the solution so we are creating a table top 10 stations station id total distinct song played as integer and then distinct user count as integer partitioned on okay this is batch id i have already explained you and then this is the general uh, you know uh, execution or command that you run in any hive shell what we are doing into this table that is top is uh, top 10 station we are inserting the record from where from enriched data the final enriched data and even in enriched data we had some pass and fail case so only the pass case the data which were passed uh, the data which uh, we pass as a test case so that is getting passed okay now what exactly we are doing we are selecting the station id from from enriched data we are counting the song id as total distinct song played you see total distinct song played and then we are counting the user id it is distinct because our question says it should be unique users okay so for every unique user we are counting the song that is getting played okay and then like is equal to one grouping by and then normal order by function limit 10 it means we are generating the top 10 record so uh, one simple tweaking we need to do when you run as a script file this dollar hive conf column batch id it will uh, be taken as at a run time so as we are not running as a script file i will manually pass the batch id value as one you know why i have passed this one because everywhere batch id is getting from current hyphen batch dot txt and value under that particular file is one okay now let's copy this and execute okay there is some error let me see just a minute guys so we'll go one at a time okay create the table okay let's okay our top 10 stations got created fine and next is okay one more mistake see here i didn't keep as one so i need to change this as one now it should run okay let's wait till our map reduce job gets over so this will give you top 10 station ids okay with whatever conditions you have inserted one thing more i mean uh, uh, until this job get executed let's see what will happen if you run as a script file okay if you run as a script file first of all complete six problems in um, five problem statement solution you will have and after that you will be doing this you will be running one again script file that is data export.sh and in this script file this is the complete scoop job okay wherein you are exporting the analyzed result into mysql okay make sure your mysql is up and running okay and again let's go back you see this this is very important guys you remember why i told you what is the importance of batch id you know for every unique uh, job if you run you will have a unique batch id so actually in production it happens you know whenever you run a new job you will have something to differentiate it's like just like the counter you are setting okay so after your complete job and export job uh, you know is executed successfully you are incrementing the value of batch id by one until now the value was one after the export uh, script file is successfully run the batch id value will become two and this will get inserted in your current batch.txt 
So after this, you will see the value in current hyphen batch dot txt as two instead of one. As of now, it will be one. But after this, after running data analysis dot sh file successfully, the value will become two. So whenever the next job that you will run everywhere, the batch ID will be two instead of one. Because I, I, I mean, see, I, I, I uh, manually change it to one. I mean, I was running. So when you do the next time, you will be inserting two. So that is the importance of batch ID. You will have different partition on different unique batches. Okay. Okay. So uh, my you know Hadoop job has successfully executed. Now what I need to do is. Let's see the value in top 10 stations. Okay, so these are the different station IDs where maximum number of songs were played. Okay, so this is it guys, your solution for first problem statement. Similarly, for next problem statement, you have the solution available over here. It is quite self-explanatory. Uh, you know, you can go through it and understand quite easily. Okay, based on the problem statement, we have given the solution. So after this comes the scheduling of job. You know, for this, what we have done, we have uh, created the, I mean, we will be using the cron tab to execute the job. So the complete steps from the beginning till analysis, it will be there in wrapper.sh and then we will be scheduling a cron tab job. So this is something for you know scheduling the job whenever you want to run instead of doing each and every steps one by one, you will be simply running the wrapper.sh and you will be executing the steps. So let's see what exactly is wrapper.sh. So here is the wrapper.sh and you see the same script whatever we did one uh, you know manually one by one same script is there in a script file and we are scheduling that as a cron tab okay as a cron job so i hope you guys enjoyed this session if there is any doubt you can reach out to the support team and you know they will be there for your help thank you for joining have a great day ahead take care